My name is Kelly Paffel, Technical Manager for Invino Engineering, LLC, located in Tampa, Florida. We are at a engineering firm specifically for steam and condensate systems. Today, I want to talk about steam trap station visual testing methods, which is one of the three different ways to test a steam trap. As I was saying, visual testing is one of the three ways. So we have visual, temperature, and the use of high frequency ultrasound. But visual is a vast and easy method for testing steam traps. And anyone with a little training can accomplish testing steam traps. Negatives, higher initial installation costs. It's going to cost us a little more at installation to put visual indicators in. As you can see here in the diagram here, that visual indicators are located right here. That is only one of several ways to do visual indication. The other thing is why test steam traps? Ah, steam trap stations, number one, need to be reliable. 15 years of operation or longer at any pressure lower than 300 PSI. It also has to have proper operation. Any steam trap station assessment should have no more than 3% failure rate. But how to get to that low of a failure rate, you need to test and also do root cause analysis. When it comes to visual testing methods, there are two types of steam traps. On-off operation, which are inverted buckets, thermostatic and thermodynamic, and a continuous flow type steam trap, which is the float and thermostatic design steam trap. As shown here in the video, this valve is activated and you can see a discharge coming off of the steam trap. And I'll talk about the discharge. What should we be looking for? steam trap discharging the atmosphere as you can see right here in this video the thing is it has to have two-phase flow we have to have flash and we also have to have condensate the liquid as you can see we open the valve to atmosphere there's no flash the steam trap was undersized backing up condensate causing severe water hammer so visual is very powerful Another trap is blowing, leaking, blowing, leaking, blowing. These are thermostatic design steam traps, which have a distinct on-off operation to them. So we should see a discharge and then a shutoff. So essentially open an atmosphere, we can tell that they are blowing or leaking. Now, inverted buckets are on-off operation, very distinct. Cycles on off. And should stay off for at least 15 seconds, but can stay off for a longer period. And you can see the proper operation. Now, another example of inverted bucket. So, as you're seeing, visual testing is very simple. Here's a thermodynamic design, another one of the different designs of steam traps we have. On off, but the thermodynamic is very fast in its operation. Again, as the handle is activated here, and you'll see the distinct on off operation. 
So this same trap is working properly. As you see, in the off cycle, there is no steam or condensate coming out of it. So when the trap comes to the cycle mode, you'll see the discharge. Working properly. Now, if it's, you know, cycling extremely fast or completely blowing, then it's a failed. And this one happens to be in the failed mode. Now, the next type of a steam trap is a thermostatic design steam trap, and this is an on off operation also. thermostatic design steam trap with no on off operation or completely failed. Again, as the handle is activated, you'll see the discharge. It never shuts off. Completely failed. Blowing through. That is proper operation. And this happens to be another type of visual indication, which is a sight glass inside the steam trap body. The last is. <laughs> So as you can see, the different types of steam traps, visual indication is very powerful, very easy to do. At our website, we have many different technical papers on testing steam traps, besides all different applications for steam systems, installing steam safety valves. There are 64 best practices, many different articles, and a number of videos up there for your review. All our information is generic and we are here to help the STEAM world better understand STEAM systems. Our short-term impact, we do STEAM engineering assessments, STEAM system balancing, STEAM system reliability, STEAM system engineering training. Long-term, we implementation engineering, project design, project management, full engineering support for steam system changes and condensate systems. Thank you for your time and please visit our website which is located right here and my email address which is .com which got cut off. Apologize for that. Have a great day.